Welcome to Mexico. Since Audi launched the Q5, they sold more than 1.6 million cars worldwide. Today, we're going to drive the brand new one. Before we hit the road, let's have a short look at the exterior design of the Q5. Looking here at the front, you see this to be really honest, is a shrinked Q7. We have the same massive grille here and we have the same shape of these headlights. They come as Xenon lights as standard, but you can also order them as LED or if you want as matrix LED. But now let's have a look at the side. From the side, the Q5 looks very dynamic. And the reason for that is that the roof line drops to the rear while this line here really rises to the top short before the C-pillar. That really gives the car a push. And in addition to that, we have a really flat greenhouse and a very high shoulder line. And that really gives the car extra dynamic. Very important is this line here, they call tornado line. And that starts at the front, at the bonnet already, and runs completely around the car. I think a very nice piece of design. The interior of the Audi Q5 is, as expected, very functional, modern and good looking. We do not only have the central display here, we also have the Audi Virtual Cockpit on board and that provides us with all the information we need for our journey, for standard driving and for infotainment. Very nice with this car is it really sits well on the road, the steering gives good response and very important, it is really quiet in here so the car is very well insulated. With an SUV, you should be able to do more than just driving on standard roads. And this is the reason why we try the new Q5 off-road now. When you drive on gravel grounds and you drive fast, it is really very similar to driving on snow. So here you can really feel the advantage of the Audi Quattro system. Driving fast on gravel grounds is fun, but it's so dry and if there's a car in front of you, you do not even see the road. Audi offers one TFSI and four TDI engines for their new Q5 at launch. They are all four-cylinder, two-liter engines and their power is ranging between 150 up to 286 horsepower. This fella here is completely different. This is the new three-liter TDI V6 engine and that will be available about mid of 2017 it offers 286 horsepower and massively 620 newton meters of torque driving this car now with this adaptive air suspension is a completely different game it's even more smooth and more dynamic as well so you can have really everything from really off-road up to very dynamic and I have to tell you, I really like this a lot. The V6 TDI engine on board really is a great pleasure. And that combined with the automatic gearbox is not only pure comfort, it's also pure fun. The car is so powerful, it's really great to drive. Audi put a lot of effort into the development of the new Audi Q5. And very important, they are focused on driving performance. And to be really honest, they really achieved a lot with the new air suspension here. But it's not only the drive of the car. This car has everything on board that we already loved from its predecessor, but a lot more modern and even better. For me, the new Q5 is definitely one of the cars in this segment you should have a closer look at. <music> 